Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new challenge we'll be playing with the history challenge in Sims 4. Now because I have a lot of things to do in this video, I need to introduce you to some of the rules and our Sims and our new lot that we'll be living in. I've decided to cut my first video into two parts. The first one, this one that you're watching, will be just the introduction of our sims and the lot we'll be living in. And then in the second one we'll go into the gameplay for the first episode. And to provide you some visual entertainment as I'm telling you about these rules, I've just put in the footage of me building the lot we'll be living in. So, in regards of the rules, the uh, Sims 4 History Challenge is a legacy-style challenge that will take us on a journey through history and we will start in the Stone Age and progress all the way to modern day. And each generation of Sims will basically live in a different era, so our founders will live in the Stone Age. When their children reach adulthood, they will live in the early civilizations and so on. And there are 10 different eras in this challenge altogether. So in regards to the challenge-wide rules, we cannot change the aspiration of our sims, the lifespan must be set to normal, they can only drink one essence of life or potion of youth in their lifetime, and all reward potions are restricted until the Middle Ages. I'm not going to age up my sims manually because I have the aging already set up and we won't be able to move until we reach the great sim frontier stage. This challenge also has some challenge-wide goals which are long-term goals for the family and they can be completed at any time during the challenge and over several generations of sims. I'm going to try to do the historian which is the more difficult challenge and as you can see here, we have some of the goals, so we would need to reach level 10 in 29 different skills, earn 75 gold medals on social events, and so on and so on. So in regards to getting started, we need to begin by creating two sims who will be the ancestors. And they cannot be married or engaged. And we're also allowed to create one pet, so I did create a dog for us. I also placed some other Stone Age families on the lots around our lot. We'll be playing in Brindleton Bay because I figured that one was the most suitable. And I did spend only 5,000 simoleons for decorating our lot, but I did use a lot of debug items and debug trees. And we are playing with the simple living lot trait and with the off-the-grid lot trait. So here is the introduction to the Stone Age, to our first generation, and uh, it says here that it is the earliest known stage of Sim history. In a harsh and unforgiving environment, Sims often had to keep moving in order to survive. They began to settle in fertile, easily defensible areas. Living in prehistory meant working to survive, and that included everything from finding your own dinner to dedicating your life to any compatible mate you could find. After all, during these times, sims were simply doing what they could to keep the sims race alive. And here we have some restriction. Honestly, a lot of things are still available to us. So easels, pools, woodworking tables, planters, etc. So we're not as restricted as one might think. And here are the available aspirations for this era. And I've given them the angling ace, freelance botanist, outdoor enthusiast, and leader of the pack aspirations. You will see in the later footage that I've given one of the girls the big happy family aspiration, but I've changed it into freelance botanist later on because I realized that uh, that aspiration wasn't allowed. So sims can sell collectibles, paintings, and woodwork, and they may not get married but have multiple mates. And we progress into the next era when our ancestors' children have children. So it actually won't take us that much time. And here are the goals for this part of the challenge. So we need to reach level 10 fishing, gardening, and handling skill on one sim. 
catch an anglerfish worth at least 150 simoleons, earn 30,000 simoleons from selling rocks, fossils, frogs, and woodwork, so that does not include paintings, and have one sim have kids with five different sims as well as complete the fishing, gardening, metal frog or fossil collection. So one of those five collections, if I'm correct. So that's basically it. It's another type of legacy challenge going through time. But first, let me introduce you to the Sims we'll be playing with in this challenge. So in this challenge, the rules are that you're supposed to start with a female Sim and a male Sim. And I believe they say the Sims should be young adults, but just to keep things more interesting and also to provide for some variety in storytelling. Well, I decided to make four Sims, two male Sims and two female ones. Now, because there are a lot of objectives in this challenge that we need to, well, that we can fulfill if we want to, and I do want to, and uh, because we get points for those specific challenges, I'm going to say that for now, maybe later on that will change, but for now, Rego here and a lovely lady that I will introduce you to in a second are our founder sims officially. So Rego here, he is a young adult, so he is among the oldest of the tribe members. I will introduce you to the rest of them later on, and he does try to take care of everyone else and make sure that everyone survives. So he tries to take on the responsible role. I actually gave him the responsible trait as well, uh, but he's actually quite easygoing and carefree in general. So I gave all of them these, it looks like face paint, but it's actually a tattoo. So it will be there for all of their outfits. And I've given specific tattoos to senior males of the tribe, let's put it that way, and senior women of the tribe, and then different ones for the younger members. So you will see this face paint throughout all of the uh, men in the tribe who are senior members, who are basically young adults. And I've also, I wasn't planning on this, but I ended up settling on a head cannon of sorts, which makes sense to me, at least that elder members of the tribe who have lived longer, who are more, who have more resources, basically all have, they have more fabric and more fur to go around. So you will notice that younger Sims, because I do have a pair of teens in this family, they have a lot less fabric to go around. So this is his everyday, his formal is the same, his athletic is just this, I'm not sure what to call it. I want to say groin cloth, but I know it's not that. As you can see, I've added some scars on his torso because as I said, he's a young adult. He already lived for quite a while and some scars on his back as well. So he has survived through quite a lot. <laughs> so that's his athletic and his sleepwear. His party wear is the same as his everyday. His swimmer is the same as his sleepwear and athletic. This is his hot weather. And this is his cold weather. Younger Sims in our family and in the side families, I've made them so that even in cold weather, they're barefoot. So that's Rego, that's our male founder. And this is Iset. And here you can see the tattoos that the senior woman of the tribe wear. I think she's quite pretty. I really like her. And I love, 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 love this hair on her. So her aspiration is big happy family and she has the hero archetype. She's also active, erratic and family oriented. This is her everyday. Uh, her formal is the same. Her athletic is a bit shorter. Her sleep is also a bit shorter. Part is the same as everyday and formal. Swimwear is this. This is hot weather and this is cold weather. So as you can see, she could afford some, well, these are not really shoes. They would be slippers maybe more accurately. So she could afford some fur to keep her warm during the winter. And she and Rego have known each other for quite some time now and have traveled 
together and work together. And as they were exploring and traveling, they first came across Bas. Now Bas is a teen, as you can see his face paint is different than Rego's and he ha his clothes are, well, perhaps shorter, more modest maybe. So Rego and Iset came across Bas, who was, whose family unfortunately passed away. And because he is an excellent hunter, Iset managed to persuade Rego to take Bas in and just sort of be a father figure to him, teach him about living within a tribe and so on. So Bas is, his aspiration is the Anling Ace and his archetype is the Everyman. He is lazy and he's a child of the ocean. You will see he is technically the lowest in our family hierarchy because Iset has taken the other girl under her wing basically and they have one part of the lot to themselves. Bass, on the other hand, is the one that's closest to the entrance to the property and he's the one who is supposed to defend them from attackers. Rego is the one who has the most space to himself and so on. So the last member, the last sim in, in our family is Laia. She's a teen as well. Her aspiration is the outdoor enthusiast and she has the archetype everyman. She is loyal and paranoid. Now, the way I've been thinking about this, I thought it would be cool to have both the tribe chief and the tribe shaman. So I will try to have Laia develop her herbalism skill uh, as much as possible and her gardening skill. And maybe one day if she survives, she can be our tribe shaman. At the moment with, well, sha woman. At the moment, we don't have a, a tribe chief because he had passed away. They're sort of just trying to survive basically. But hopefully one of our main sims ends up being the tribe uh, chief one day. I think she's really pretty. As you can see, she has a different a face paint than Iset. This is her everyday, so again, not a lot of fabric. And her formal is the same. Her athletic is this. This is her sleepwear, her party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So she's, she's still covered, sort of, but she doesn't have any shoes and there's not a mu much fur on that, as you can see. I also completely forgot to mention that Rego's aspiration is leader of the pack. For some reason it had it set as outdoor enthusiast, but it's not that one, it's leader of the pack because I would think that he would want to be the tribe chief, mainly because he is quite soft-hearted underneath it all and he wants to take care of them all. And also, <laughs> last but not least, I have made this little cutie. Her name is Vossa. And I basically made a mixed breed of a dog and used my imagination basically. Made her as curly and shabby, unkept as I could. So that's her. And one of the side families also has a male dog, so maybe we'll have some puppies in the future. I hope so. Now I will show you the lot we're currently going to live in, live on. And listen, this, <laughs> this lot, I have it uploaded onto the gallery if anyone wants it, but I had so, 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 so many issues with the terrain paint. <laughs> and honestly, whatever you're imagining, it was much worse, <laughs> believe me. It's just that I haven't used rain paint much when I was playing earlier, so I really had no idea how to use it. And the reason why it's so detailed and that there's so much vegetation around, well, first of all, it's because they wouldn't have lawn mowers, but second of all, I've just been hiding all of these bits that were popping out and trying to make it all look more coherent. So this is going to be the jungle gym for kids to play with, play on. 
and I pu I did put in this sign because I want us to go out hunting. And while we are on that topic, I wanted to say, let me delete this mailbox, the mailbox, not the tree. <laughs> I wanted to play this well. I want to keep it fun, but I also want to keep it realistic and to keep things moving as as fast as possible whilst keeping up with the logic and the coherency of the of things so what i think i will do is i'm not going to have them hunt very very often because i'm going to roll a three-sided dice i think every time they go hunting to see whether they survive and if they roll let's say a three if they roll a three they will die because I think that's quite realistic. There's not a lot of people in this tribe and hunting animals was very, very difficult at this time. So yeah, we're going to avoid hunting. We're going to do it maybe once a week, something like that, I'll see. Or once in a season, maybe that makes more sense. And I'm also going to flip a coin for every baby that's born. And I think I'm going to roll a D10 for women and if they get a one they die in childbirth but that's besides the point so here is the hunting sign now this is one of the many water sources that I put on this lot I just figured they would locate their campgrounds close to water sources so we have one here and also this lot is huge it's a 64 by 64 lot, so I had to fill it up with something. I'm going to say it's a river. We have that river going from here underneath these stones and all the way around. I will show you that later. Now, this is actually just a decoration. I'm saying that this is where maybe they keep their food during the winter. So it is a bit protected with the shrubbery, as protected as I could get it. I did put uh, these Stonehenge stones just in case anyone wants to have some fun if their fun is very very low and this is where Bass will be sleeping so as you can see it's very very minimal he has some weapons to protect the others from any invaders and he has a bed here and Vosa is actually his dog he had to plead with Rego to take her in and eventually he was successful. I told you, Rego is quite a soft-hearted sim, so she sleeps next to him. Now, over here I have our future garden and as you can see, I put some seeds down already and that's because the women will go foraging every day, but I don't think these custom content seeds can be found through foraging maybe they can but i just figured we will plant them because we do need some kind of a food source right so there's this little pond here as well and here are the showers you actually can't see them because i'm in build by mold but we have like waterfalls here and they can shower there and there's also another fishing sign here and in this corner here is where the ladies will be the plants are all dead now, basically, but I think in summer it will actually be really pretty. So I put them here because I figured they would give them the prettiest spot, right? And because of Laia and because I do want her to maximize uh, the herbalism skill, I've never done that before. And I really want to do it with her, at least the herbalism skill. She doesn't, we don't have to do the force necessary skills with her. We just need to do it with Rego or Iset or both. But I really, my goal with Laia is to have her become the tribe shaman woman. So I'm having her learn the herbalism skill. And that's why I put these down because Herbalism skill is actually quite hard to level up because it requires you to travel to Granite Falls quite often and we will be traveling there. I will just show you the world later on, uh, 
but we won't be traveling there like every episode so i just put them down it's not like it's not like we can buy seed packets at this time so she just found them <laughs> and we have an easel here i'm i'm really 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 going to try and not use this a lot the easel because you'll get money really really easily when you paint and i do have a prehistoric painting override mod but i don't know if that works we will see and this is the woodworking table so this is kind of a workshop area now this is the only place that's actually covered and that's because actually i might want to move this inside yeah because otherwise it's going to get wet and break and i figured they would protect uh, their food food is essential food is a priority so this is like their little kitchen you have a sink here this is actually a bin these are counters this is a stove now i actually wanted to change this but i'm not sure because we have this one how much oh two thousand maybe this one is more appropriate i just don't know whether they can actually use it let i will check that later this is our fridge actually and as you can see i put in this covering because I knew this was going to uh, break unless it was covered from the rain. This is like a little dining area just for when we have guests around. This is actually, I think this counts as a fireplace. And we also have this sitting area here, some bits and pieces here. This is Rego's bed. And this is like his cave. So he has the best protection. Uh, out of them all because he's the most senior member of the tri well not of the tribe but of this particular family we also have two toilets here and in the back i just put in these rocks and we have some water so basically they wanted their habitat to be surrounded by water because water also serves as a natural border and they wanted some hills so that's why i used so much terrain paint for better or worse so yeah i think that's it yeah i think that's it that's our lot i'm quite pleased with how it turned out honestly so guys this will be it for this short little episode i'm sorry that i had to do it this way but i just couldn't get the video under 45 minutes and i do think that's a bit too much and part two will be up tomorrow so in 24 hours from when this one is posted it's actually already edited so that's fine and once that one is posted we will go back to the ultimate decades challenge and then i will need to introduce you to a new challenge that we'll be doing I won't say what it is, but it is very on theme <laughs> and I really do enjoy historical gameplay. So I hope you'll enjoy that one too. The reason why it took me so long to post this is because I had to redo my mods folder after the new patches and just sort out the save files and everything. And I was also building the lots for all the challenges, all the lots that I needed. So I hope this video wasn't too boring for you. Do let me know if you would in future prefer me to just post one longer video, but I think this makes a lot more sense. I don't know. I hope you're having a great evening, night, morning or afternoon, wherever you are. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.